Let's take a look at changing the si styles of your map layers dynamically that is in response to a user clicking on something um, or some other kind of event. So here's an example of doing that. So I clicked on the button and the styles changed. In this case, different features were styled differently. Um, f mostly the fills changed on each of those. Um, so we saw we can now differentiate between uh, the different features on the layer. So maybe you don't usually want to start your map with undifferentiated layers and then add a way to differentiate them, but you might have situations where you do want to tweak the styles that your layer is using um, in response to somebody clicking a button or doing something else. Um, for example, uh, this website, Urban Reviewer, it's a map of urban renewal plans in New York City. When you are looking at this base map, um, you can see the features are in a dark uh, color, a black color. These are the features. Um, but sometimes um, we might want to look at the satellite view to better understand how um, the situation of these parcels, depending on what we're doing with them. Uh, but when you turn on satellite view, darker things are harder to see. The contrast um, is not as clear with the as it is with the base map. So you can see that we're dynamically changing the style of those parcels when we switch over to satellite mode. That's something you might find useful um, if you're changing base layers, if you're doing some other kind of drastic change on your map. You might need to also change your data styles. So I want to walk through doing exactly that in a simple um, in a simple card map. In order to do that, I'm going to start with a map with no button no way of changing the Cardo CSS, and I'm going to work backwards and find a way to change the style and then create a button that does that. So if we look at the code for this, this is some code that I've used a number of times, might look familiar um, in terms of the HTML, we're mostly just loading libraries and making a place for our map. In terms of the JavaScript, we're just setting up the leaflet map, setting up Cardo, pulling in our uh, layer from Cardo. So um, <clears throat> remember that when you're making a layer with Cardo, you're, um, that's made up of two things. One is the data source, which table, which SQL statement do you need me to run to create this layer? And the other thing is the style. And that is a Cardo CSS style that um, where the Cardo CSS goes here in this string. And that gets passed into the Cardo CSS, which goes into a style variable. And when you create your layer, you're putting together that data source and the style. So what I want to do is find a way to change the Cardo CSS after the fact. So it starts out where um, the fill is all red. How do I change it um, so that I can make the style whatever I want later on? One way to experiment with this is to open up the developer tools and look in the console. And in this case, um, previously you might have seen me using the developer tools console to look at the map object. But in my case, 
I'm curious about this style object. Does the style object have a way to change um, what's going on with it? So I'll type in style dot and see what kinds of options I have here. What are the members of that object? And um, it's mostly not very interesting. I know because, um, because I've worked with this before that what we care about is set content. This is not the most satisfying way to find something. I'm just showing you that you can find it that way. If you really wanted to be safe, what I would do is look at the cardo.js develop, um, developer's documentation. And in the reference, if you look for cardo CSS, cardo.style.cardo.css, which is what we're using here, right? It's, it's exactly the same uh, wording and periods between the words. Um, you'll see that when you create it, you pass in some Cardo CSS to a string. That is the content parameter. And if you look down under methods, there is a set content method that takes a new content parameter um, where you can change the Cardo CSS of the layer. And just to see, um, just to see if it will work, uh, what I'll probably do is test it out over here. So I might say, um, okay, I didn't want to run that code yet. So I need to hold shift and enter here. Um, so I want layer, I'm writing Cardo CSS off the cuff, so this might not work super well, but I'm selecting the layer. And uh, just to make it simpler, I might say polygon fill, polygon fill, uh, make it something like green. And maybe I'll also polygon fill opacity, or is it polygon opacity? Let's see. Uh, so I'll make the opacity, the transparency, a little bit smaller, so it'll be more transparent. And that did not work. Why did that not work? Maybe it was the polygon fill. Hey, that worked. OK. So um, now if I zoom in over here, you might see some semi-transparency going on, perhaps. Oh, polygon opacity. Let's try that. Uh -huh. There we go. So this isn't the best way to do it. Um, if I was doing some more, um, if I was doing more complicated um, Cardo CSS, I would probably do it in Cardo. Uh, where I can see it happen and I can see if there's an error, they might do a better job of telling me where that error is. But I wanted to show you that it's possible to do it here. It's possible to do it in this much JavaScript. And um, as as you might have seen, if um, if you've seen other videos where I talk about things like this, now that I have some code that I know I can run that will do exactly what I need it to do, in this case changing the fill and opacity a bit, then I can put that code in a click listener on a button. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to add a button. I'm going to do this a little bit more quickly than uh, I have in previous videos. So. I'm going to first go into the HTML and um, I will add a div. This is going to be my overlay. And I'm going to add a button inside there. I'm going to give that a class also. Um, style change button, something like that change styles. Okay, 
So I gave the class, um, I gave the div a class. That's because I want to position the button, and maybe I'm foreseeing that maybe I will want to put other things in this area where I'm putting the button. Maybe it won't just be the button there, but I'll have other buttons or some text. So I'm just wrapping it. Um, I could position the button itself, but in this case I'm going to position the thing that the button is in. And I'm also giving the button a class name so that I can um, add an event listener to it. First things first, I need to make sure that my stuff is visible. It is not currently, it's down below the map. What I want to do is, in the CSS, style the overlay. I'll say position absolute top 15px right 15px. So it's going to be 15 pixels from the top right. And I'm going to set the z index to 1000. OK, so now we have a button there that says change styles, but it doesn't do anything. Um, so now in the JavaScript, I need to select that element, that element being the button element. To be on the safe side, I'm going to copy and paste this class name. I'm going to say far style change button is document.query selector selecting an element from the doc from the document and I select the style change button and I'll add an event listener to that new variable that I just created listening for a click and when that click happens, this function runs. This function, just to be sure that I'm selecting everything right, I might put a console.log high in there, make sure that when I click it, I see the word high. So my click listener is working just fine. I'm selecting the element and adding an event listener to it just fine. Now all I need to do is add that line of code where I change the card of CSS to it. And let's see. I'm just going to try to fix the indentation a little bit. Ideally, um, everything within this function is indented over one. So that's two spaces here. And um, ideally, this line is at the same indentation level as this one. So that's what I'm trying to line up. And we can put a semicolon in here. It's not going to break anything if it's not there. But now, so we have all our styles are red right now. All our polygons are red right now. But once we ch click this button, fingers crossed, uh, that looks good. So. Um, so that is how um, we're adding an event listener to the button. We're also um, we're changing the Cardo CSS when that button is clicked, and that's giving us um, giving us some opportunities to perhaps um, make our maps a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more responsive to people's needs or to what they're viewing. Maybe you're viewing different themes on the map, and you need to change the styles for some of the layers. This is one way that you might approach that.